last time, it'll be 111 years ago, in this very room, 17 Wardour Street in London Soho, that the first meeting took place just with 23 magicians for the organisation that became the Magic Circle. Today, we are very proud that a blue plaque has been unveiled by Dynamo just outside commemorating this forever. It's amazing to be here today because this is something that uh, the council and lots of members of the Magic Circle have wanted to happen for many years and finally it has and this place which is the origins, the birthplace of the Magic Circle is finally being commemorated and I think that's fantastic. gentlemen, please pray silence for the president of the British Black Trust, Mr. Byron Reid. Thank you very much from the godson of Tommy Cooper. I am the godson of Tommy Cooper, yes. He never told me anything. He's not as tall, clearly. Um, <coughs> It's an amazing piece of history. I, I love history. The history of Soho did something on it last year. Uh, but to think back in the middle of uh, Edward VII's time, uh, 1905, people getting here together. As I was saying earlier, alluding to uh, the Victorian uh, attitudes towards magic. They loved magic, they loved illusions. Uh, and of course, they held a million seances, as we know. Uh, so naturally, I think, you know, <coughs> magicians came here, got together, but uh, wonderful that the building, uh, the architecture is still here, and we're able to celebrate in this way. Fantastic uh, that Dynamo has been able to come along to unveil it. Uh, some good crowds, we were told not to uh, get too much into the, uh, into the publicity in case the crowds became unmanageable, uh, but luckily they were, they were okay. There's one magician that I know, and I'm sure a lot of us have worked with in the past, that would love to have been here today, uh, uh, and maybe a little round of applause for uh, a lovely man that I know when I first told him about this, he said, I've got to be there, I've got to be there, the lovely Paul Daniels. We talked to him briefly about what he could possibly do with the plot. Could he make it disappear, reappear, disappear again? Uh, but in the end, we, we put that by the by, and uh, I'm sure, well, hopefully it won't disappear unless uh, uh, someone as tall as Tommy Cooper appears and, and nicks it. And I think Tommy's actually did get stolen from the hand and racket, didn't it? Did, it? Yeah. There was a plot that said Tommy Cooper used to look in here, and if anyone was in that he had to buy a drink, he wouldn't come in. Uh, <laughs> somebody stole the plot. Yeah, Brilliant. That's where all the, all the Hancock sketches are written there. So, uh, Blue Plucks have an amazing history and tell a great tale uh, of our great city. So, absolutely delighted that this is here. Uh, uh, thanks for support for, for Shaftesbury as well uh, and all the, the people from the British Plant Trust. So I'll hand you over to Scott Penrose, uh, the president of the Magic Circle, to. Uh, he's disappeared. Oh, here he is. Right. Here he is. Thank, you. Thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure to be standing here as the president of the Magic Circle, the 13th president in our history, and it's wonderful that we're all here where, we were, where our organisation was formed. And it was in the summer of 1905 when notice went out to the magic community that there was a discussion that was to be held to form an organisation to forward the art of magic and to protect secrets and they met here in this very building and of course the venue as it was known then was 17 Wardour Street, Pinoli's Restaurant which was one of London's finest uh, eateries. Uh, the meeting was held on the 1st of July 1905 and it was attended by 23 magicians and it was chaired by the Belgian magician Savela Roy and it was deemed that the organisation would be called the Magic Circle of Great Britain and uh, we've moved on since then it's uh, broadened its horizons we're now a membership of 1500 magicians and we've got members all around the world so we have some thanks to make uh, thank you very much to Mike uh, for introducing me but our uh, main thanks uh, go to, of course, to the British uh, Plaque Trust and uh, Shaftesbury PLC and, of course, Morden and Lee, who are now the successors to Pinodi's restaurant that have provided the venue today. And, of course, the last person I'd like to thank, of course, is Dynamo right. for making this <laughs> event so memorable. Judging by the expression on your face, you don't know. <laughs> no, I never have. I don't know if he's filming. Anyways. Hello there. Oh, I love you. 
I thought I loved your mate, but I love you even more. I mean, <laughs> this is my favourite restaurant in the whole of London oh, at yay. 17 Wardour Street. Without them, it would not have been possible. Yay. And we are delighted to relive the history here with my Good. best friend. It's fantastic. Wonderful. Great. Thank you for your help. Lovely to have you here. Oh, no I will be back many, many times with all our Wonderful. Members. Wonderful. Great. Yeah, come back to Wardour Street. We'd love to have you here. We'd love it. They're good help. Thank, Thank you very much. It wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been for the vision of one individual and the determination, and uh, that is Andrew Reborn. I think we should give him a special round of applause. Oh,